three hours later. It's not working. Toaster bread. Now, a lot of people like to use a thing called toaster. Um, I actually prefer to use my pizzazz. So, as you can see, I got the uh, bagel bits and the pizza rolls, or the off brand in there. Why has God forsaken me? And the Oscar goes to... Welcome back to Let's Do Something, and today we have a very special and unfortunate episode. Uh, as you are aware, because you've liked and subscribed to all of my videos, as you're aware, the pizzazz, my most used utensil in the kitchen, the best appliance that man has ever had. I use it for everything. I make toast on it, Pop-Tarts, my little tortillas, pizzas, uh, I reheat french fries and chicken nuggets and burgers and I, I do just about everything with it. Unfortunately, it died. <laughs> really, I was really upset, like, really upset. Fortunately, move these diapers out of the way. If you're asking why I have diapers, it's because I knocked someone up. Just kidding, they're for me. Fortunately, I had this overnighted right away. It was 
same day shipping from Amazon. And it's a brand new pizzazz. Same model, all that. Uh, you can actually see on, if I can get rid of this label here. Okay, so you can actually see on here, they actually tell you chicken nuggets, garlic and cheese bread, grilled cheese. Quickly bakes frozen, bakes and browns frozen chicken, wings, nuggets, quesadillas, jalapeno poppers, pizzas, or pizza rolls, fish fillets, egg rolls, and more. Even bakes cookies and cinnamon rolls from the refrigerator dough. Somewhere, I have a video of it making cookies. Let's jump in and unbox this. As you can see, also on this side of the box, jalapeno poppers and mozzarella sticks. Man, this thing makes a lot. Makes Hot Pockets, too. Shows right on there. But only Hot Pocket brands. They specify. So let's go ahead, let's pop into this baby and do a nice little unboxing of a brand new Presto Pizzazz. Now mine only lasted two years, but I used it every single day, and that's not a lie. Sometimes I use it two or three times a day. Presto Pizzazz, here's the instructions. Put food on it. Boom, done. All right, here's some uh, styrofoam, gone. A brand new plate. You know what? I'm gonna use the old one. Gone. I broke that. Brand new pizzazz. This is the baby that we've all been looking for. There it is. Brand new and ancient at the same time. The rest of this is garbage gone. So this baby here is it. I mean that's that's all it does. You can see on here you got a 20 minute timer. This thing unfortunately only goes 20 minutes. Some pizzas need 22 depending on how thick they are. You got lower, dual, and upper. Very important to pay attention to this. See lower, dual, and upper. So very important. Don't mess it up because if you move it over to lower, it only cooks on the bottom. If you move it up to the upper, it only cooks in the upper. And if you put it in the dual, it cooks in both. And that is what you want it to do. The thing is with this, actually this has instructions on the back, mine never did. That's so cool. So never leave unit unattend uh, unattended. Do not preheat pizza oven. Never operate the unit if the pan is not rotating. Close adult supervision is necessary whenever using this appliance with children present because it is a hot plate spinning in the open. So, safety! Uh, always remove the baking pan from the unit when the baking is completed. I never did that. That makes so much sense, that's why mine burnt out. I'm the idiot, not the appliance. With that being said, let's just cook. Now you can see both of these side by side. The original, it's been dirtied up, but she's still a babe. And the new, the new flame. Now one thing you might notice is this plug right here. The Presto doesn't have a switch on it. So when I want to turn it off, I just flip this thing on and off. The reasoning for that is because it stays plugged in all the time, and this is way easier than unplugging and plugging it back in. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move this baby over, and just like that, the pan fits on. We're gonna throw this one to the side. And we're gonna plug her in. Plug it in, plug it in. I'm actually going to keep that cord kind of wrapped because I don't need this to go very far. And we're going to plug it right back in at the top here. Look at that. The sound on that thing. Fresh and new. Let's go ahead. Put this baby on six minutes. And we're going to sit here for all six minutes. Oh, I can feel heat. I can feel heat. All right, if you like this video, that's gonna be cooking. Like, comment, 
like, comment, subscribe, I don't know what to think for subscribe, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, sucks to suck, but at the end of the day, this baby is not doing so good. These are $50 on Amazon or anywhere else. Uh, I think they're all actually $47.23 right now. It's a good, it's a good deal. I would buy it. Uh, I wish it, this one still worked and I might take it apart and try to fix it. Probably some parts burnt out, I don't know. But if I can, I'll make a video of it. If I can't, I won't. Don't, I'm not promising anything. If you'd like to see a video of me electrocuting myself with a pizzazz, leave a comment. I am still won't do it. So, that being said, again, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And you have a wonderful and blessed day because I only have four minutes left on my camera battery. Three minutes. Have fun. You like me yet? No, probably not. Okay.